What's up, guys? Subscribe, hit that like button, and hit that bell. Follow me in Dreams. I'm Young Tech's YouTube in Dreams. Um, if you guys need different tutorials on animation, sculpting, and how to make music, or even how to make games, I'm good at all this stuff. Just click my channel name, and then scroll down, or click my channel name, and then go to the playlist section, and then just click the playlist that has the tutorials that you need. So this is how you can actually make animations really quickly in Dreams PS4. So this is probably used in even the game industry, but I know it's used a lot in anime. So let's say an anime episode 50 has a fight scene that's really good, and the person knows it's so good that they want to use it again for a different character. They would uh, probably label it, save it. So you want to label this as something, or name it something that um, you'll be able to find easy in the search bar. And then what you can do is reuse it on a later episode. So let's say episode uh, 200. You don't want to reuse it for like, you know, something that um, is too close together unless maybe you change the cameras. You can use this for an anime or an, an animation. And then you could also use the same animation for maybe even a game. So it doesn't have to be used for the same genre, if that makes sense. So that's why this is important to actually make presets instead of just animating the whole scene with the character already made because you could save yourself a whole lot of time by using the same animation preset and what's an animation preset this is what i mean by an animation preset so once character got from point a to point b a new animation preset started which is actually the same animation preset um and you could have different presets that you can save in the dreamverse and then reuse whenever you need to reuse them. The only thing is, is that uh, before you even start, you might want to start your thing as a new scene. So that way you can load up the same preset into your, um, what I mean by load up is whenever you search it to, through my creations, you can load it up in here. You can load up du duplicates, basically, because if you uh, try to load up this in this scene, then you can't put it inside of the same scene, sadly. But if you were to have a new scene altogether, I'm pretty sure you could. Pretty sure. But if you can't, then you can just clone it with the clone tool. So whenever you're done with your animation, what you want to do is actually click the timeline and the character and group it together. That way, whenever you clone it, the timeline has the same animation and it the animation works for the second character. Or for, it's the same character, you know, but for the second animation loop, if that makes sense. So what you want to do is have the animation, and my animation tutorial will appear up here if you guys need to learn how to animate. This is just a different process to get you guys doing this a whole lot faster. But inside of this process, you want to have a keyframe that turns off animation A and turns on animation B. You want to press L1 and X on this animation, then L1 and square, and then you want to power on after you group the timelines together, like I said previously, and power off the one that was just used before. You might want to like adjust where this starts, you know, and ends, you know. You can always uh, adjust that where things are more fluid. Just mess around with it. And you can make that look really fluent and stuff like that. So you don't really have to, you know, uh, worry about it too much. So. Now all you need to learn how to do is how to turn a puppet into a into a different character. And that tutorial will be up here also if you just want to click that. But I'm going to speed run through that tutorial that, uh, right now. Um, so this is actually what it actually looks like. Except the head. If you wanted to turn this into a different character, like you can see, I have it as a new character. I had it, as, I made a, I made a box character out of it. And this is why it's important to make animation presets because you can turn these puppets into different characters. So that way you don't have to like reanimate the whole thing using an old animation. You could, uh, using, you know, using a new scene, you can use an old animation preset and, instead of animating a whole new scene altogether. That's why I'm saying this. I mean, this is this is fantastic if you really want to save time. Use this method. Um, but how you would make a new character 
is you would scope in until you see this purple marquee thing and replace each body part with a body part that you've either created or found in the Dreamverse that you like. And how you would do that, how you would replace each limb is by either pulling it out of the Dreamverse or making it as a sculpture yourself, and then clicking on it, clicking on the character, grouping it together, and you'll probably want to make the blue part of the puppet invisible. And then make the new body part non-collidable. Then you'll want to click this and the animation timeline, group that together, save the scene, or duplicate it, you know, with the clone tool. In this way, you can make these animations using animation presets. Um, you can make whole full-length animations for uh, Dreams music videos, or even games. You can get done with your cutscenes and stuff like that a whole lot faster. Just might want to add a camera in there. And my camera tutorials, my animation tutorials will all appear up here. Um, so I really hope this helps you guys out. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell and follow me in Dreams. I'm Young Text YouTube in Dreams. Um, I hope, I, like, 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 I, I don't know. I really hope this one helps uh, people out. So, um, thank me later and peace. Don't forget to follow.